Welcome back to the channel guys. So peeps, you don't know already you know so anything related to to Shanika Gray or me responsible for it, you understand? She is my adopted daughter. Um unfortunately um we never had the chance to meet and we'll never have that chance to meet again. You understand? But this is just another update on her situation related to the court aspect of the thing and related to her funeral. Um, the two suspects um, went to court on Friday the 17th of February where they were remanded. Um, the, the case files weren't 100% ready as the forensic evidence has not yet been um, given to the prosecutors. You understand so they were reminded that the next court date is March the 3rd Friday March the 3rd that is two days before her funeral um, <laughs> but arising out of their appearance in court it became apparent to many family members that the two suspects were persons who are known to the family you understand one of them um, persons in the family would have seen them around in the general downtown Montego Bay area in taxis and, and, and so on and one of them even carry home somebody who is a part of the family from work almost on a daily basis but that is the next story for the next time you understand um, so they will reappear in court on Friday the 3rd of March as I said so we will talk about that when that time comes um, so the family would like to extend their gratitude for all the persons who contributed to the GoFundMe campaign they had achieved their goals and they uh, on behalf of the family um, they are asking me to express Dear gratitude to all the persons who contributed, to all the well wishers and all the persons who sympathized with them during their time of grief. Um, I am also able to state that um, high ranking politicians, um, the Prime Minister, um, Dr. Oris Chang, and people like Daryl Vaz would have visited the family in person and also members of the People's National Party. So, both political parties went um, to offer a word of condolence and to provide some form of comfort to the family, and they are eternally grateful for that. And as me, I tell you, this is me just a tell you what them said. So, they are grateful for that. Um, the funeral service. For young Shanika will be held on Friday and Sunday, sorry, the 5th of March 2017 at the King's SD Church in Mount Salem, St. James. I think that is the church over by the conference center, right? The funeral um, ceremony begins at 10 a.m. Her body will not be open for public viewing as the state of her body is 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 not fit for, for such unfortunately but the family um, said to me that teach we will try as best as possible to portray Shanika to the persons who attend the funeral as lovely as she was in the time that she was alive you understand me as a peep so for those persons who have interest in viewing her body um, you will not be able to see that Interment will be at, at the Ilview uh, Memorial Park, that is, I think, the Della Pena's um, funeral home burial um, ground, right? So that is the situation, and the family is saying all persons who want to come uh, are invited. You understand? So, funeral March the 5th, Sunday, March the 5th, 2017, 10 a.m., King's SDA Church. Mount Salem, um, Montego Bay, St. James, um, over by the conference center. Funeral service begins at 10 a.m. interment at Ilview Memorial Park. Tell them a preach and preach, step over they go beat and teach. See them so me see, beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. So beat and teach. Beat and teach. Beat and teach. 
So I will be attending the funeral ceremony to represent the THM family and as me showing how deeply saddened I am at the passing of the young lady and as I said the family has been very good to me and they have even gone as far as to ask me if I want to stream the funeral live on my channel you understand most of you guys know that I am in the process of setting up uh, my YouTube um, workspace so a lot of the equipment is not in Jamaica as yet so I am trying as best as possible to get things up and running because I will be taking up that offer so the funeral on Sunday the 5th of March 2017 hopefully all things working out will be streamed live on the channel you understand so for all of my viewers all of my subscribers who won't be able to attend the funeral you can hopefully see it live on the channel so working on that i will give you some more information as we proceed i will also be doing a tribute video separated and apart from the funeral for shanika i have a lot of the content already the matter of fact um the family member who i am in communication with sent me a song today that was done by one of shanika's classmates chevron beautiful song. as a matter of fact when she sent me the song i was at work on lunch and when i listen to this song i just feel teary eyed me i tell you the truth I mean, I didn't really cry like that still. Zayn, so I will also incorporate that in the tribute video. So, peeps, that is the situation at the moment. The family, thank you for all the well wishes, for your support, and for the fact that you have adopted Chanika as, as your daughter. You understand me? As your sister, as your brother. So, we talk as soon as some more information is available. Peeps, just be careful. You understand? I'm all. Remember to like, share, subscribe. This is Steve saying, until next time, walk good.